Hello everyone, welcome to another tutorial. My name is Agnes. In today's tutorial, we are going to be doing these baby pants. I use the unisex stitch. It's more like a more stitch, but I'm not sure of its name. We start from the waist, go downwards, and then we do the legs. And yeah, that will be all. So I hope you like it. It has these little hearts. These are so optional. You I'll be making 6 to 12 months, but I'll give you measurements for the other sizes. So this is what I will use for this tutorial. Um, you will need scissors. You'll need a tape measure. And for the yarn, I'll be using cotton yarn. Uh, this brand, Gruendale. I'm, I'm not sure how it's, you know, pronounced. It's German. And it's 50 grams. I used four balls of this. Uh, it is 125 meters each ball. So, yeah, for the hook size, I'll be, they recommend three to four. But I will be using two hook sizes. This is a 3.5. Um, and I will also use a 3.0 millimeter hook. This will only be for the ribbing, so for the waist and the ribbing at the bottom of the of the leg. So yeah, let's get started. So to start, we are going to make a slip knot and we're going to start from the waist. Okay, so you are going to make a chain. I'm using the 3.0 millimeter hook, a smaller hook. So you are going to make a chain like this equivalent to your uh, it's waist measurements or hips measurements so I'll give you a chart of the measurements I'm using so me I'll be doing 20 inches for 6 to 12 months okay here are the measurements so I changed 20 inches and this is without stretching the chain okay so just chain put your chain against your tape measure once you have your measurements and yeah so i did 20 inches up to there and uh, we are now going to straighten this chain up so make it straight like this and then just join it together at the beginning of the chain here set your hook in that very first chain that you made and then make a slip stitch make sure it's straight and slip stitch like that so we are going to start on our first row of the waistband this is how it looks so for the first row it's going to be a row of double crochets so you're going to chain two that's two yarn over and in that very first stitch here you will insert a double crochet so insert your hook like that you have three loops yarn over pull through you have two and then pull through all so go into your next uh, chain and make a double crochet And into your next chain make a double crochet then another double crochet and basically for this row it's a row of double crochets so you're going to insert one double crochet in every chain and yeah I'll meet you once you are back where you started so meet you at the end of the row So I'm back where we started. This is I'm at the end of my first row and we are going to close this off with a slip stitch. So we are going to insert the slip stitch on top of this very first double crochet right there. And then slip stitch. So for row two, we are going to be using front post and back post uh, double crochets. Okay, so you're going to chain two. yarn over and this first double crochet leave around the chain two. this first double crochet we are going to insert a front post so you just insert your hook 
below it like that under the double crochet like that and complete your double crochet so this is a front post and our next stitch is going to be a back post so it's going to be you know the opposite of uh, this that we've done so you're going to yarn over and in this very next stitch you'll come from the back so come instead of coming front here so go to the back like this and insert your hook over that stitch like that okay and then complete your double crochet sorry so our next stitch is going to be a front post so this you're going to go from under so your double crochet is on top of the hook so that's a front post and then the next will be a back post so your hook is on top of the double crochet basically this is how it's done and for this row it's going to be a row of front post back post front post back post so you keep alternating front post back post and i will see you once you get to the end of the row So I'm done with row two. This is how it looks so far. And we are going to close this off with a slip stitch. So leave around that chain two. So we'll slip stitch on top of that very first front post. Like this. All right, so for row three, we are still going to repeat the same thing. It's going to be front post and back post. So you'll go ahead and chain two. And where you had a front post, you will put a front post. So this is your first front post. So you're going to go under this stitch like this and make a front post. And where we had a back post, you'll still insert a back post. So for, go from the back and make a back post. And next is going to be a front post and then a back post. So it's still going to be an alternation of front post, back post. So where you had a front post, you'll insert a front post. Where you had a back post, it will be a back post. And you're going to do this until you get to the end of this row. And this is going to be the repeat for the, for the waistband. I will go ahead and do five rows in total. And then I'll meet you so that I can show you how to go from there. So each time you get here, close with a slip stitch and then go around, go around until you have five rows. Okay. All right. So I'm done with my five rows and this is how it looks like. I really love this ribbing stitch. I'm not sure why, but I always think it's so pretty. So... We are going to go on and now you're going to just chain one and then turn your work. So from now on, we'll change our hook size from a three or whichever hook you're using to a bigger size to a 3.5 for me. Okay. So yeah, I'm now going to be using a 3.5. So we are going to start a single crochet in this very first stitch and then you will chain a one make one chain then you're going to skip one stitch so you're going to skip this and into the next one make a single crochet like this then chain one skip one stitch make a single crochet in the next chain one skip one into the next stitch make a single crochet chain one skip one make a single crochet so this is going to be the pattern for this row so it's be a single crochet then chain one and skip one stitch single crochet chain one skip one stitch and i'll meet you at the end of the row 
all right so we are at the end of the row and this is how it looks like and i am going to close this off oh there's a stitch here so now yeah this one don't forget any so now we are going to chain one and then close this row off with a slip stitch on top of the very first double crochet this is the chain work right here this is the chain work so yeah there's that stitch we skipped now we close this off with a slip stitch and now for row two you are going to chain two all right so here you see where we have this chain space below it is a stitch right that front post right there right so what you're going to do is you're going to go into the previous stitch right below the chain stitch okay this one here okay there are stitches below the chain that we were leaving right so that's where we'll be working so we'll go in there in the previous the the row be, the row below it and make a double crochet like this so chain one so you will now skip that single crochet that you made there and you are going to work into the chain space so under below the chain space you see the stitch that is below it yes you'll make a double crochet there yeah you see this okay so make a double crochet then chain one don't forget to chain a one so chain one skip your next stitch which is this single crochet here and the one after that is a chain and below the chain that's where you will work your double crochet like this then chain one skip one and below the chain work your double crochet chain one skip one stitch and below the chain stitch make a double crochet so basically this is going to be the pattern okay and yeah so do that i'm going to meet you at the end of this row to show you how we finish this off so don't forget to chain one and don't forget to work below the chain okay it's not in the chain it's the stitch below the chain okay i'll meet you back here all right so for this pattern to work we need to end every row with a a chain okay so you see here there is this stitch here i insert my double crochet and as you can see there is only one stitch remaining so actually there's no stitch remaining and i ended with a double crochet but i need a chain so we are going to force a chain on this row so i'll chain one and go on top of the very first double crochet and finish off my row like this so there was no stitch here but we forced it because we need a chain at the end of every row so you so when we turn our work we'll work under this chain okay so you're going to chain one so remember it, we are now chaining only one so chain one turn your work okay so right here where we have our chain we are going to make a double crochet below it but this was our first double crochet we forced a stitch here so we are going to force this double crochet right here below this chain okay so now it gets easier so now just chain a one and you are going to have to work in every stitch below your chain space okay now they are more visible so just go below your chain space you will see a double crochet there for in this case it was the single crochets so now we are working in every single crochet that we made on our first row okay so don't forget to chain one so it's chain one skip next stitch under the chain space make a double crochet chain one skip the next stitch 
in that stitch under the chain space make a double crochet so we are working in a row below the previous row okay so i'll meet you at the end of this um, row just to show you how to finish it off all right see you at the end of the row all right so i've come to the end and yeah this is how it looks so we have one stitch left and uh, it's now you know it's um, it's now working right so we have this one stitch left here so that's why i chained a one okay so we are skipping this stitch right here so let me just go back and show you so i have these stitches left so i worked in this i chained on one and then worked in this stitch below the chain space and then i have one stitch more left so chain one skip that stitch that is left there and on top of the chain one on top of the sorry the first double crochet that's where you slip stitch so now you chain one turn your work and now we have a chain space chain space right there so below it is a stitch so we now have everything in order and it is now easier so you, every time you begin a row i mean you, you you begin a row it is with a double crochet and every time you end a row it is with a chain okay so that was my first double crochet then chain one skip and below that chain space make a double crochet like that chain one skip this one next one is below the chain space make a double crochet chain one and then skip the next stitch and below the chain space make a double crochet and basically this is going to be the pattern so you are going to repeat what I did in the previous row. For every row. And you realize the stitch is actually, it's really pretty. And it's unisex, you know, both for both girls and boys. And they all been, I love its texture, texture and it's easy to do. So it's really pretty stitch. So I'll see you at the end of the row just to show you one more time how it's done. All right, so I've come to the end of the row and I have one stitch left, so I will chain a one, right? And then on top of that uh, first double crochet, I will make a slip stitch to close this row off like this. Then chain one. And yeah basically going to repeat the same thing so turn your work and uh, that very first stitch make a double crochet chain one skip one make a double crochet chain one skip one make a double crochet in the double crochet below the chain and you are going to repeat this so i'm going to give you the measurements from waist to crotch area so from where you started from the waist to the crotch area you'll go ahead and do the measurements for your size that you're making and yeah once we meet then we will do the the diapers part in the middle and then do the the legs do they call them the legs because for the arms it's sleeves so what do you call for the legs i'm not sure anyway <laughs> just continue doing the same thing don't forget to chain one at the end of the row and the row begins with a double crochet so yeah i think it's a pretty stitch you'll see it once you go on it's quite pretty i really like it so yeah these are the measurements i'll see you once you are done
all right so i'm done and this is how it looks if you notice you'll notice that we've been working on the wrong side which is outside and the right side is inside as in the better side is inside so the wrong side is you know outside so we are going to make the diaper part at the bottom so you may count your stitches and divide into half to to determine the middle part and i did you know eight inches for six to twelve months as you can see so we need to determine the middle if you want to be accurate accurate please count your stitches okay know how many stitches are on one side and how many stitches are on the other side the middle part is going to be six stitches okay so as for me i'll just you know i hate to count stitches so i'll just estimate the middle which is really not a good thing but yeah i hate to count stitches so i estimate the middle and um this looks like my middle part yeah so from the middle i'll count three stitches on the right and three stitches on the left okay three stitches on the right and three stitches on the left so it will be a total of six stitches so In that very first stitch which is the third stitch I'm going to insert my hook that's on the right F right from the center I'll insert my hook on both the front and the back and then reattach my yarn wrong hook reattach my yarn like this and then I'm now going to work only on one uh, part so not on two but on one so separate them and below here is a stitch so i'll work my double crochet there and we are trying to seal the spaces so i'll go ahead and work a double crochet in the next stitch and notice i do not make a chain so a, a double crochet in the one below where we had our chain space oh i forgot to complete this so we are not chaining we are not making any chains on this row so now i'll go ahead and make a double crochet and i will do that until i have a total of six double crochets mm, yeah there was no stitch here there's no stitch below it so this was the chain stitch okay so I'll skip that and go on the other side and then on this last one which is the sixth one I need to connect it to the other side so just determine where your six stitches are on the other side and I'll just insert my hook like this and then make a double crochet and turn on the other side and continue with the double crochet so this has a chain so i'll go below it and then just do the same thing until you get to the end
and then now this is uh, you're going to close this off with a slip stitch so where you started make a slip stitch and now we close this hole off with slip stitches so you're going to go in between into the back and the front go both through both loops in the front and the back both pieces and make a slip stitch make a slip stitch in all the stitches so here somewhere here is the last one yeah and uh, you're going to chain one cut and then sorry don't cut off your yarn <laughs> we'll still use it so this is how it looks so this is the wrong side okay so we are working on the wrong side all right so we are going to go on with um we'll first do one leg hole okay so just hold your yarn in the right position make sure you're going the right uh, direction now we do the uh, around the leg hole so our first stitch is going to be uh, this right here which is a double crochet and then you're going to chain one skip one and the next is going to be a double crochet that is below the chain chain one skip one and you already know the pattern so go on doing that and i will meet you at the end on the other side at the end of the row on the other side just to show you how we go about this okay go around the leg hole and i'll see you on the other side I'm on the other side and basically it's not clear here where you know these stitches are and we don't want to leave holes so we are just going to make our way through it okay so this is where we're going to insert our stitch all right so chain one and then I'm going to skip this one and on this horizontal one is where I will insert you know my stitch somewhere here because i don't want to leave big holes you know so we are just going to yeah forge our way through then chain one and right here you know this was our first stitch so i'll go on top of that very first stitch there and make a slip stitch okay so i ended my row with a chain right so that is very important and now we are going to go on so we chain one and then we'll turn our work and yeah so that chain space we are going to just go below it somewhere forge a double crochet there below and just look for what is convenient and i'll put mine here i think yep and then chain one so the next one is clear so it's just go on top of this double crochet yep and then you're going to chain one skip one and the rest are clear so just continue with the pattern until you get to the other side once you finish that row i will see you there oh wait all right i 
put it in the wrong one here so just make sure you're careful oh this was in my way so yeah here so i have two loops up there yeah both loops so you're working in both loops okay so yeah so yeah see you at the end of this uh, row it's basically the same thing uh, yeah So this is how it looks and yes, so you're going to chain one once you get to the end. You see here we have this stitch already. So you skip that and on top of this very fast double crochet, you are going to insert your slip stitch. Okay. And then you will chain one. Turn your work and basically you are going to repeat the pattern that this pattern you already know in this very first one make a double crochet just below the, the chain space always begin a row with a double crochet and end it with a chain so chain one skip into the next one make a double crochet so you're going to repeat this i'll give you the measurements of the pants length but keep in mind this is full pants length including the um, the ribbing so before you, you uh, do a few more inches before you complete the rib before you add the ribbing uh, leave a few more inches uh, what am i saying <laughs> okay don't do for example my pants length is 17 right and these are the measurements for the other pants length so i will not do up to 17 inches i will leave room for the ribbing okay for example this now let's see how many inches i did before i put the ribbing the other side so i did 15.5 so i left one and a half inches to accommodate the ribbing okay so now i'm going to show you how to do the ribbing so we'll go back to our 3.0 millimeter hook for the ribbing okay change from 3.5 to the 3 millimeter hook so our ribbing is uh, yeah 1.5 inches long so for the ribbing we are going to first do a row of sealing off the spaces the chain spaces we're leaving okay so when we turn our work we are going to do a double crochet in that very first stitch and usually we would make a chain but we are not going to make a chain okay so into the next stitch we are going to make a double crochet So the next one is a row below and the next one is on top of that double crochet. Go a row below and the next is just on the previous one. So yeah, so we are sealing off the spaces, the chain spaces and we are doing this with double crochets. So you're going to make double crochets all through for this row and yeah i'll meet you at the end of the row okay so i'm at the end of the row and uh, this is going to be my last stitch it's a double crochet stitch and don't chain don't make any chain just go on top of the first previous uh, double crochet and make a slip stitch so for row two 
you are going to change this to the right side so we're working on the wrong side right so turn this inside out and we are going to work our ribbing on the right side so we are going to be using front post and back post stitches you already know this you did them for the waist okay so you're going to chain two and under that very half double crochet make a front post and then next is the back post so you go from the behind and on top of that next double crochet put your hook on top to make a back post next is a front post so next now we are making a reduction okay so we are taking two stitches at a go so it is one stitch two stitches and then the third stitch you take two stitches at once so we make a reduction so it's two stitches at a go you make your back post and then one two and the third stitch you make a decrease so you take two at a go like this and decrease okay one more time so it's one two and decrease All right, so continue doing that pattern until you get to the end. I'll see you there. All right, so I'm done with my row one of decrease. So now the next row, just close it off with a slip stitch. So for the next row, you're going to chain two. And here there are no decreases. So it's just going to be where there's a front post, make a front post. And where there's a back post, make a back post. So next is a front post. And then one after that is a back post so yeah as easy as that you already did this so i don't think i'll go through the whole of it but it's front post back post front post back post <laughs> back post until you get to the length of the pants that you want and i already gave you the measurements for that so i will do until i have my 17 inches long and um, yeah So I did my rows and this is how it looks. I think I did about five. And when I measure from top to bottom, I have my 17 inches. Okay. So we will now go ahead and work on, you know, our second leg hole. And yeah, so cut this off. And tighten your yarn. We'll sew in the ends later. So we're now going to turn this inside out again. So, so that we are working on the wrong side. Okay, and now we work on the second leg hole. Oh, this is not tight. So I'll just reattach my yarn on this one. I'll tie a knot. All right, so what we did from the first one is what um, we're going to do on this second leg hole. And uh, back to the 3.5 hook. So. 
just make sure you're working on the right side okay which is the opposite side of the one you were working on the previous row because we always turn our work so now i'm going to make a double crochet here on the previous row and then chain one and the next one is skip one and then work in the previous row All right, so you already know the pattern okay we already did this so you'll do the same thing like we did on this other leg hole and continue going around until you get to the bottom once you have the your inches then do the ribbing and that's it i'll see you once you're done so i'm done and i did both uh, legs this is how it looks like okay so for the this is the diaper part and for the waist i went ahead and made a chain then put it through my waist through the waist and once it was through the waist i made these little hats i'll put link the that youtube tutorial i used to make the hats in the description box okay i think they are pretty but you know you can use any other stuff you want but you will need um, the drawstring so yeah I hope you like it and yeah if you do give this video a thumbs up share on your whatsapp groups facebook groups your friends and subscribe if you haven't yet subscribed so thank you so much i'll see you in my next tutorial bye guys